TasaCrawler is a powerful modern routing library built for React. It supports nested layout, parallel and lazy loading, file-based routing, and most importantly, full type safety. This unlocks a range of features for single page applications that were previously only available for full stack frameworks like Next.js and Remix. On the other hand, we have TanStack Query, which has become the standard when it comes to managing asynchronous data in React. And for a good reason. It handles all the tricky parts like caching, background refetching, retries, and request deduping so that you can focus on building your UI without having to reinvent the wheel every time you want to fetch some data. Together, Tansa Query and Router form a cohesive and elegant architecture for data-driven applications. So in this video, we'll walk you through using Tansa Query with Tansa Router in your React application. So here are the three ways to use Tansa Query with Tansa Router. The first one is to use Tansa Router as a state store meaning that Tansac Router is going to do the fetching and saving the data internally. And this is what we're going to use inside our page to show the data to the user. The second way is to use Tansac Router as a simple URL decoder, meaning it's only there to just read the data from the URL, like the path parameters and the search parameters, and pass them to our component, which will then use React Query to fetch and show the data. The third way is to use Tansac Router as a state orchestrator. And this is when we're going to combine Tansac Router with Tansac Query to take advantage of the features of each library. And this is where the magic really happens. So let's start with the first approach, which is to use Tansac Router as a simple state store. For this simple example, we're going to be building a blog post page. So it's going to be slash blogs slash a blog ID and the user can see the content of that blog entry when they visit the page. So let's start by creating a simple page and here we're using file based routing, which means that this part is going to actually be generated by Tanstack router when you create the file. And here we have our path posts slash ID and ID is a path parameter. Then we can define a component here. We just have a hello world. But where it gets really interesting is when we fetch the data from the backhand. And let's say we have a simple function, fetch post, and this makes an API call to a backhand or a content management system and gets you a blog post by a given ID. We can pass this to our route as a loader and Tanstack Router will make sure to load the data for us. And then we can use it inside the application by calling route that use loader data. This hook is going to return the data and it's going to be loaded for us. So we can just take that post and render it for the user. Of course, here we need to also handle loading and error states. And we can do that by using pending component and error component from React Query. Tanstack Router is also very flexible when it comes to defining these two components. So you can define them globally, but you could also override them at the route level if you want to. Now let's go ahead and see how we can implement the same thing by using Tanstack Router as a simple URL decoder. And here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the same example, but we're gonna take a different route. So instead of using the loader function, we're gonna define our own custom query, use post, and this is gonna call use query internally. Here, we're passing in the fetch function as a query function. Now, inside our component, we can grab the ID from the URL and then pass it to our custom hook. And then you can simply render the blog post in your application. It's also worth mentioning that the error and loading states are not handled here. So if you want to handle them, you need to do it manually inside your component. And this is completely separated from Tanstack router. So we've seen now the two extremes. The first approach was to load all the data inside the router. And the second one was completely separated from that and inside React Query. And now let's see how we can combine them in a meaningful way. And the cool thing about combining Tanstack Query and Router is that you get the advantages of both library. So you get fine grained caching capabilities of Tanstack Query, but you also get prefetching on a link hover, for example, from Tanstack Router and also parallel route loading. So let's go ahead and start with the same example. And here we're going to start by defining the query options. And this is what we're going to use inside our component when we want to fetch the data. 
But first of all, we need to pass it to the loader function that comes from Tanstack router. And here we call in query client that ensure query data, and then we're passing in these query options. Then inside the component, we can again grab the ID from the URL parameters, and then we can call use suspense query and then pass in the same query options. And we're using suspense queries because this works out of the box with Tanstack router, which means that the loading states that we have are going to be just passed to our routing, and we can take advantage of the same features as before, like loading and error components. Then, of course, we can render our component down here, just like we did before. If you want to take your React query skills to the next level, I have published another video previously, and this one is about the must know React query patterns. The feedback there was amazing, so I know it's packed with value. Go check it out if you haven't already. Otherwise, I do make a lot of content related to React, React Query, and other Tanstack libraries. If you're interested in these kind of topics, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.